Look guys, I'm ready, I'm packing and off we go. But the weather is like sea, so it will be raining towards Dover. So that's what I'm wearing and yeah, off we go. And it was raining indeed. I will spare you the boring motorway miles anyway, but let's say I took the picture when I left M25 and it stopped raining. And off we go, I'm on a tunnel crossing and I've met a few guys there and some ladies on those scooters as well. Anyway, one of the chaps here on that Swiss number plate, he gave me a Swiss knife. Awesome, thanks man. I don't know why you gave it to me, but hey, it was really useful, so thank you very much. And if by accident you are watching that video, let me know in the comment. And I'm already on the French side. It's brilliant because it's not raining. And now I will be on a fast route to Belgium because I'm going to visit my friends Chris and Lisa. Chris is riding Kawasaki W800, that's how we know each other, from the internet of course. But this time we will meet in real life. And maybe we will stay friends, <laughs> I don't know. And because it's already rather late, I will take motorways because for the first time I don't want to be at my friend's house at 11 p.m. That would be, well, I think rather rude and weird. But hey ho, they said it's alright. So let's see. I'm in France and straight away it's like a few degrees more than in the UK. It's warm and pleasant. Uh, it still can rain, see? But yeah, probably it won't. And if I will go like 50 miles away from the seashore, it won't rain for certain. Anyways, I'm on the motorway. Uh, I just took a break to take a leak there. The bike is dirty, just look at that looks like shit but anyway i'm going to visit friends in belgium and i've got three hours to go um mostly on motorway hopefully i will manage and rain won't catch me so let's see that Obviously I wasn't recording the road on the motorway because it's utterly boring but I just recorded this French city because I did the wrong turn and I think it's kinda interesting. Well at least I was thinking it's interesting after three hours on motorway. Because otherwise it's rather not. It's just a city, right? Anyways, let's go back on the track. In the meantime you can take a look on the map where I am right now awesome right and because it's boring as hell i will tell you in the meantime what the plan is for the whole trip i've got three weeks off from my work meaning basically uh 24 days in total including that one because i started just after work and now i'm here on my own but my friend paul who is from poland who is my old friend i started riding bikes with he's starting early morning from northern poland and he is going down south to czechia and then on sunday we will be both going through germany to our meeting point which is close to munich from there we will be riding together through the alps and down to dolomites and down to the southern italy and because the trip will be pretty long 24 days is almost a month we will try to spend minimum amount of money humanly possible, which means campings mostly and sometimes cheap hotels. What is important in that trip for us is the fact that we are old mates who started riding bikes together, we quit university together to build our first proper choppers and then we were riding those bikes for many years, but that was more than 20 years ago. And since then we had families, we moved to different cities and yeah we haven't been riding together so now it's the time to try it again and as i said i will meet with my friend on sunday meaning i've got two days of riding in front of me through the germany and belgium and luxembourg and yes i almost forgot that it's friday right now today in the video of course not today but hey 
<laughs> they almost arrived. Actually, I think it's like a thousand meters uh, I will be in place. Probably I won't be filming, but hey, you never know. But I think I will. I think I will just have a conversation with my friends, drink beer, eat something, and that will be it. I will go today. So, see you tomorrow morning. And that is what we did. We actually sat at the table, Lisa prepared a lovely dinner, and we had a lot of beer. Which is brilliant. And then we had another day. <laughs> Hello guys, this is the next day morning, and I was parking in the garage next to that fantastic thing. See? And there are other fantastic things like Kawasaki W is there. Yes, and I'm starting and it's raining. And that lovely person is Chris. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, he never stops talking. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and look what I've got from Chris. He's Belgian, but he went on Polish W800 meeting and he got that patch, W800 Poland, which is resembling a bit of club's patches, so probably I won't use it. However, he gave it to me and that is really nice, interesting coincidence. Lovely, right? Anyways. Okay, I will go. See you tomorrow. See you later, actually. <laughs> All right. Hello. Thank you very much. See you next time. Cheers. And yes, off we go. I mean we, because that's me and my bike. So two of us. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, I'm on the way towards Luxembourg. Initially, we planned to go uh, with Chris and Lisa because they've got a Kawasaki W800 with the sidecar. So we are thinking we'll go together, but it looks like it was raining a bit and now it still might rain. And uh, there is a long way in front of me, so we decided, okay, next time. And one day we will do it. I promise you that. Especially because there is really nice place called Dinan nearby, really nice town, which I wanted to visit. Yeah, just drink a coffee there, look at some lovely building, rocks and whatnot. However, yeah, I need to do it next time, because this one, I need to escape the rain cloud, which is actually following me. Yeah, I know, it doesn't look like that, it looks pretty good, but trust me, the cloud is there. Anyways, right now I'm heading towards Luxembourg and then later Frankfurt in Germany. That's my main goal for today. But now I made a wrong turn because the landscape looks so good, so I had to turn back. Well, nothing wrong with that, the views are nice, the bikes were nice, so here I am. But let's go back on the track, shall we? Yep, that's it. Long straight roads. Awesome. <laughs> and a slow traffic. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that is where I am at the moment. Yes, almost entering the Luxembourg. But before that, let's have some fun. <laughs> Yeah, the weather looks fantastic, but can you see those puddles? The rain is constantly somewhere here, the clouds are. And finally... It got me again. Well, shit happens. Yep, it was raining more and more and I was thinking like, I should actually wear my overpants, my waterproof overpants, so I decided to eventually stop somewhere and wait it out because I don't like my overpants. <laughs> and you know what? I wasn't the only one with that idea. Where do I come from? Uh, Coventry. Coventry. Lovely day for a stop. I got company. Look. <laughs> and my new friends decided to go, and I decided to record them with my camera. Unfortunately, though. The camera turned itself off, <laughs> so that's all I've got. Anyways, I decided to go as well. 
because you know what, it stopped raining. But obviously, it started again when I started riding. So, I decided to wait it out. <laughs> what a nonsense it is. But the reason for me doing such a stupid maneuvers was the weather radar. Because I checked it and it looks like there is like one big massive cloud and if I will wait it out, I will have a gap of a good weather. So yeah, that's what I did. I waited it out. And you know what? Yeah, it's raining again. And right now, at that very moment, I'm in Luxembourg and I'm in the mountains, or rather hills, of Luxembourg. And the area here is really, really nice. First of all, it's not raining, it's only a minor drizzle. <laughs> no, actually, it's not even drizzling right now. There is just a spray coming from the cars, but other than that, it's just wet tarmac. Right now, I'm heading towards Germany, but I'm enjoying those lovely corners in Luxembourg because the tarmac quality is brilliant here and the corners bends are absolutely smashing. Lovely road, road 25 in Luxembourg. I would much prefer dry tarmac though. <laughs> Yeah, well, very, very pleasant road. And if you were ever planning to go to Luxembourg, well, how to say it, as a destination, you should reconsider. But as a detour, when you are going somewhere else, it's rather brilliant. Yeah, why not? I just wish that the weather would be better. Probably then I would receive a speeding ticket. <laughs> Yes, very, very nice indeed. But the bloody rain cloud is catching me again. Nevertheless, it's time for a short break and look at the map. Or actually, weather radar. Maybe it will help with something. I'm on the yet another curvy road in Luxembourg. <laughs> Yes, it's rather brilliant, however more brilliant is the fact that probably it's the end of the rain for today. And I really hope they don't lie this time. <laughs> On the other hand, it would be German rain, which might be different. Well, I'm in Germany, so... Yeah, let's stop this bollocks and let's go, because the road in front of me will be, yeah, brilliant as well. And do you know why? Because every road on a bike trip is brilliant. Especially when it's not raining and the temperature is rather pleasant and you've got some hills and bends. That's why. Onwards! If you think that the rain is over, well, it's not quite true. However, later. You know what? 
guys. I think Black Forest is somewhere nearby. Screw that because the roads here are brilliant. Well, except the tarmac on that one. <laughs> this is shit. By saying shit, I mean it's similar to British tarmac. <laughs> That's impressive, I realize that I've got dirty camera. And I cleaned it! <laughs> Picture that! Look at the car! And another one! And did I mention the rain already? So yeah, it was raining now and then. I was probably a bit wet. However, the temperatures! The temperatures were close to 32 degrees. So it was really, really pleasant. Some might say that maybe even too hot. But not for me. Especially not having in mind what temperatures we will have in Italy. <laughs> well, let's mentally prepare for that. But right now I'm approaching the hotel I booked. Or rather bed and breakfast. Look, that's my mess. That's the room I'm in today. Yeah. <laughs> I made a mess already because I'm drying everything. And look, this is my dinner. Beer, uh, whatever, potatoes or potatoes and a piece of salami sausage. But anyway, plan for tomorrow. What is the plan for tomorrow? I'm close to Pet Kreuznach right now and I need to go to, I don't know, close to Munich. And I've got 450 kilometers, which is something slightly less than 300 miles to go. And yeah, I will be camping there and I will meet my mate there because he's going from Poland right now and he's half the way already there. So, see you tomorrow. And tomorrow, or rather in the next episode, I will be in lovely areas of Germany. See? Beautiful right? and I will see beautiful places, cars, bikes, and I will happily greet some German bikers, and eventually I will do some off-road, and finally... Buongiorno! Yes, I will meet my friend, and he will greet me in Italian language, just before going on a camping together. Well, it doesn't sound right, I think, but never mind that, goodbye, and see you in the next one. <laughs>